There she is. Looks like the bumper scratched up a bit right here. Flare. I don't see nothing on the undercarriage, so that's good. The tires are pretty clean. The last drop, huh? You from Chicago? Yeah. Okay. Does he need a jump or it starts right up? Say what? He needs a jump. No, no, no. Sorry, it's okay. Okay, good. But well, this is it. This one was a stolen recovery from Chicago. Has red interior. You guys will see it when it gets dropped on. But it looks pretty good. Looks like a bumper was painted at one point. I see some overspray right there. But has a 50... 50,000 miles. And this one came out of Chicago. I got another one on the way. It's silver from Georgia. I thought that one was going to show up before this one. But I know I got 57,000 miles. Wait for him to take the straps off, and then we'll unload it, and I'll show you guys how the interior looks. Yeah, yeah, I seen him. Right, guts. And the car, once you step on the gas, you gotta be careful. Like, you know? no, it's fast, yeah. Man, those brake and rotor are gone. I'll take I'm gonna pull into the driveway. I got cash. How okay. much I owe you? Uh, Let me take a picture of Yeah, 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 go ahead. Yeah. <sighs> Looks good, no lights on the dash. Has the adaptive cruise light thing on, but other than that, it's solid. And the red interior on these things are killer because they even do it to the dash, the glove box. It's pretty clean. I thought it had TVs in it. I guess it don't. It does have the roof. Oh, it got the suede roof too. I think old track hawks come with the suede. Got the carbon fiber. Hell yeah, it came with the floor mats too. Why is there water in a bag? I hope that's not piss. You want some hair? What's that? <laughs> Free. Really? Yeah, you can have it. <laughs> I don't have anything to do with it. <laughs> right, I'm going to pull in the driveway and I'll bring your money. Come back. All right. Ugh. This. Damn, those rotors are done. Probably it's got to be driven on if it's been sitting for a while. I'm going to try that. If not, we got to replace them. And these things are expensive. I think each rotor is like $1,000. <laughs> this thing barely stops. I'm gonna grab his money and then I'll show you guys the rest of it. All right, we got him paid out. It's not bad, 250 from Chicago to here. I was gonna fly down there. The flight was like $80, and I was gonna drive it back. But I'm like, how about if I get there and need something? And I can't do a, I can't drive it. It has this light on for lane service required. I think that I got to do something with the front bumper. I'll just scan it. On um, that looks fine. Other than the rotors, at least. 
Man, I miss driving one of these. These by far have to be the best SUVs out. They're comfortable, they're fast. This one got most of the options too. Got Harman Kardon, red seat belts, red interior. Got nav. I think I did good on this one, boys. The other one is coming in, that silver one you can see in a minute. It's uh same thing, it was recover theft. I like buying these because they, they don't need a lot of work. Is that him that's pulled up? No, that's not him. Came with only one key. Trackhawks home with only red keys. If you guys didn't know that. I think uh the bumper has been repainted. See right here? Like, if you look inside, see the light? Yeah, it's all definitely been repainted. It's been repainted. Because in Chicago, they make them put front license plates. You get that thing that says, uh, get the light front license plate thing. Put, put, a, put a thing on it. Yeah. Got cool on it. Hey, it's not bad. Everything looks stock on it. Even the exhaust is stock on Yeah. But look at the rotors. It's been sitting. That's right. You gotta yeah. drive it. Bloody seats. Yeah, didn't need a jump. Yeah, oh, I didn't even see it. I think the VIN number. Oh, yeah, come look at that. They took the VIN number off the door. Well, that's all the Jeep SRT. Uh, same thing, they put this tag on over here. Chicago. Well, that don't mean nothing, right? Wait, is the yeah. VIN number still here, though? Uh, oh, they took that one off, too. Yep, yep. That's why they got to give it a recall. But it's still going to be on the block. Yeah, because the VIN for the car is right here. That's a real VIN. Well, let's go see that. I didn't see that one. It's under the back seat, right? They got rid of the VIN numbers on this. Wait, I got to move that seat forward. It's by the battery chair, right? Oh, shit. Did they scratch this one off? Even that one? Yeah. Let me see. Damn. You got rid of that boy, huh? I still had it over his bed. That's clean. I need a town ball. You can have it. Yeah, I think we take this out. <laughs> take this off. Yeah. Really? I'm thinking about doing the black uh, on the hood, though. Yeah, that'll look good. That'll look good, right? There's another tail light. What's it called? On eBay? Yeah. It's just the outline of the tail light, not the full tail light. I didn't even check the oil on this thing. I'm gonna shut it off. Let's see if we got oil. I usually check them, but the guy drove it off the trailer. Oh, the oil's clean on it. We good. So the only thing that it needs as of now, I'm about to take it on a spin around the block. Uh, hood is fine. This has to be, I might just buy a cover for it. Cause either way, whoever buys it might have to put a front cover or a front lace plate. And this, we're probably gonna have to blend in the fender and repaint the bottom of this bumper to make it look cleaner. But other than that, that's really it. We're gonna wait for the other one to pull up. The other one's silver with a black interior. I bought them both the same day. And then uh, you guys will see the other one too. All right, guys, I'm taking it home. I'm gonna detail it, take all this writing off from the auction, and then um, probably take it back to get that bumper painted and blend it into the fender. Uh, honestly, Josh's pretty good and only concern is the the brakes so maybe after a couple days of driving it'll clear up if not we got to get them resurfaced um if they do have any life on them uh, so once we get to the house my brother is going to bring me back to get my car and then we're waiting on the silver one to pull up and he says he's going to be here within the next hour so these are the mysteries that you're finding here what does that say i think they're uh, they're like freaking like three cups of daily they're remedies Look at this one, it's working straight, like. <coughs> That's a freaks. <laughs> what is that? Don't put that on your heart. Go out for the wig. <laughs> I think it's a girl's, a girl owned this car. There you go, got a flashlight. What's in that bag? But open this, you always find stuff under here. Yep, move that. Move the handle. Or pull the handle. That's clean. 
Oh, you trying to take a glove compartment? I didn't look at it. I just brought it here. That's all I like buy in auction cards. You find random stuff. Sometimes good stuff. I smoked a bunch of, you know what? Is that a ski mask right there? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Where is this one supposed to go? On the hood? No, that's by the trunk. There's already one on the trunk. Let me see that. So you got two now. I didn't see her. Careful, don't. So them might be oh, look at that. That's how they program the keys. Right? But it's not, there's no way it's how they program the keys. Look around. Got some charges in there. Yeah, what the freak? What? $13,500. For what? Childcare referral agencies. I got charges in here. I need one. There's an iPhone charger. How other many, too? Other the new ones, too. Let me get one, kid. What is that one? That's Android. No, these are just like uh, different ports. Well, this Give is me one of the iPhones. No, I need one of my previous, bro. This one is going to fit in my Prius. Okay, give me a charger. I need one for my computer. These are two? Yeah. That's about it. We'll get this one cleaned up, and now I got to go back to the shop and wait for the other guy. Huh? Hey, he drives pretty good, mashallah. Only this right, see that? What? Right here and down there. They could touch up that joint. Yeah, but it's gonna look like it's touched up. Why do I do that? Might as well look cleaner. See the rotors are worse than that, but they look cleaner now. I just gotta drive it. The meanest car washing this street. Watch it for me. All right, guys. So I took the white one home, and there's the other one right. Long up, so I'm gonna park right over here for a second. Probably a bad idea because people don't know how to drive on the street. Track hog number two. This one don't got keys though. I got the key in my, in my car. Got to get it programmed and get it unloaded. Yeah. Appreciate it, bro. What's up, man? Have you? Right there used to be, yeah. yeah. They took it down. Looks good. You all right? Your truck doing better? Not to get your hair. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, if you want to take the straps off and get it loaded, I know how to put it in neutral, yeah. and I'll just put it back down. Yeah, in the road. Yeah. Yeah, we can until the key guy gets here and make the key for it. Okay. Yep. Cool. I'll wait on you. Yep. If you want to, I'll go ahead and jump up in there. Want to right now? Oh. Alright, cool. Oh, I never seen that in the picture. Okay, I'll come the other way. Didn't see that in the pictures. Alright, we're gonna go back to the shop. 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 Alright, we're Here's the interior. Yeah, this one reeks. Looks like somebody's hot box in it. No key. Sometimes you get lucky and you find keys inside of them. But most of the time there isn't enough. Woo! I gotta open the window, this thing stinks. I'm gonna put a neutral for these. 
for educational purposes only. You uh, you pull this up. Hope I could do it with my hand. Like that. And this is how you put it in neutral. Pull this up, make sure your foot stays on the brake. And then put the trans in manual, neutral. <laughs> but we're gonna roll it down. And then once it gets on the ground, I'll show you guys the rest of it. All right guys, so here is the second Trackhawk. Um, this one came with no key, so it took us a minute to get it off the trailer. We had to roll it. And this back tire got stuck on one of the hooks on the trailer. But we got it off. Um, it has no key, sometimes you get lucky. And they say it has no key on it, but you'll find it somewhere in the car. This one does not have a key. I do have the key. I bought it from the dealer. Where is it? Right over here. And I'm just waiting on the guy to come program it. So right now, it's not doing anything. The guy got to come out here and program it with his device. Uh, but to give you guys a quick walk around, this one doesn't have the red interior. It has the Alcantara and the leather. So or suede and leather, and it does have the rest seat belts too, which I like. It does have the panoramic with the suede. The rear, same thing. Man, this thing reeks, it smells like weed and tobacco. Let's fill the stuff in the trunk. Got some Gucci flip flops. You'll, you'll be surprised of what you find in these things. Looks like they had the door panel off at one point. Oh, this one, they wiped the vents on it too. That one is gone. This one here, I think it's just blocked off by a piece of rubber. I'm gonna try to push it back down, see if the VIN number is still visible. But the one by the battery tray, it's still good. Man, these people be flying. The one by the battery tray right over here, they didn't wipe it off. The white one's gone. The white one had to get retagged to make it sellable. But these both have salvage titles for this exact reason. As you see, uh, this is the type of cars I like to buy because they're quick to flip. So eventually, I'll let you guys know what I'm gonna be asking for these two. These are both gonna be for sale. They are both 2018s. The white one has 57,000 miles. This one has 50. The white one drives a brand new. I drove home not too long ago. I'll pop the hood for you. This one got a brand new set of tires too, look at that. Nothing is touched on the front. Coolant is full. I think this is another good buy from the duff. Adaptive crew is that standard on track hawks. Maybe, I think. I can't open the trunk right now because alarm system's going off. That's why the hazards are flashing. So I can't open nothing. But once the guy comes out here, we'll program the key. Hopefully it starts without any issues. And we'll take this one home too to get it cleaned up. So once these both, once they both get detailed, we have to schedule an inspection with the state of Michigan. They'll come out here and make sure everything matches. Uh, the first thing they check are the vents. So um, we have to show them the auction photos to explain why the uh, VIN numbers are missing. And then they'll give it a certificate of pass and then that's it. We get it recertified and ready for sale. Yeah, I did that on my 22. Yeah. They lock out the, the module. They're gonna fix that problem though. Yeah, they got to, man. A lot of these things are getting stolen. You know, I'm licensed, you know? Right, right. <clears throat> so they can't just lock us out because yeah. a lot of times they need companies like ours to come out of you know, right. somebody's, what they're going to do? Tow the car like 500 miles? Yep, yep. Where you from, brother? Uh, like nationality? Yeah. I'm Iraqi. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, this is a guy. If you guys want to ever need somebody to do keys, that's the number right there. Tell him I sent you. Problem is, you had this thing in the middle of the street, bro. I was trying to get this thing programmed. We popped out the fuse for the horn because the alarm kept going off. This the first car you bought? No, I buy I buy a lot of cars. We, with, keys? Miss, with missing keys? I used to use uh Assad. Oh yeah, yeah. You know who it is? Yeah. yeah. Oh man. 
Yeah. But I lost his number, so I called Faddle and he gave me yours. They like to smoke in these, man, when they steal them. What happened? I said they like to smoke in them when they steal them. Yeah, Yeah, with these, the only way you can avoid it is just by doing a kill switch. That's about it. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it's just... They changed the 21s, 22s. Yeah. Yeah, it's a problem. But they cracking down on it, though, bro. Oh, they I bet. a lot of people yeah. up. Especially, they catch you with these kind of machines. Yeah. It's already on the machine. They just put a new thing that says this is federal. Oh, really? So they're going to start giving big numbers to people. Damn. Like, if they catch you, they're going to charge you, like, probably federal for this kind of stuff. So, wow. Yeah, because there's too many people. Like, there's too many cars being stolen. Yeah, yeah. Especially these right here. Yeah, it's too These much. track hogs just disappear. Yeah. See how the VIN number's gone on the door? They took the VIN number off of it. I know, bro. Got this key off the dealer. Yeah, that's brand new. Oh, he's a jump. The shifter's off. They must have disconnected the shifter. Oh. Maybe they disconnected from the inside. Sounds like it cranked for a second, then it cut off. Yeah, Let me take this off. It feels like the shifter. Looks like some kind of oil. I already checked the oil, oil is full. Oh, the ignition's on now. Oh, you probably think it's this because I had to pull this to put it in neutral. Oh, okay, yeah, put it back in. Um, that's what it is. It's pushed down. Let me see that. Says Top notch. Yeah, it's pushed down. Go ahead, brother. All right. You ready? Yes, sir. Try it again? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. I am. Yes, yeah. oh, I'm sorry, brother. Give me one second. There we go. Yeah, what's up, brother? You call me for what? Well, this has been on for a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. You want to come to Dearborn? I'm in Dearborn now. Good to go. All right, we got it running. I put the fuse back in for the horn. That works now. I hope it don't die as soon as I put it in gear because the battery was real toast. No, it looks okay. I'm gonna put it back in the driveway. Only light on is a tire light. And it has this one for lane assist. It's flashing. I gotta scan it and see what's up with that. But well, that's it. That's uh, haul number two. I'm doing that's pretty clean. This one got Laura Miles. Take it to the house, get it cleaned up, get that dent repair maybe this weekend. I got a couple things going on tomorrow. I'm gonna take it for a spin real quick.
make sure everything's all right. The oil is real dirty on this. I want to change it. Drives good. It freaking stinks, man. That smell of that tobacco and the, those rellos reek. But that's about it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. We got delivery of two uh, track hogs that I bought off Copart. And um, we'll get them ready for sale. And I'll keep you guys updated if you're interested in buying one of them. And I'll let you know what they're going for. If you're new, to make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you back in the next one.